hello hello to all of my beautiful subscribers welcome back this message is for capricorns hello hope you guys are having a beautiful week so far my beautiful capricorns cross watchers you are welcome to take in the message if it resonates for you or if you have capricorn anywhere in your chart so let's see spirit guys universe ancestors of the highest white light please give me current precise messages for my beautiful capricorn so a tower moment is about to hit and someone is freeing their soul from a situation okay oh someone is about to plan something okay there's no communication between you and this person capricorn here you go you feel and sense something is about to uh happen and then the, the wind start picking up so let's see give me messages for capricorn we got the six of wands, victory, woo, and the three of pentacles in reverse. So someone is freeing themselves definitely from a third party situation. You manifested this king of cups or king of cups is manifesting you. You are still their heart's desires, okay? You are still who this person wants. Wow. Here we go with the king of cups. What's this king of cups? So it's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who's freeing themselves from a third party situation. Ace of Pentacles, this person isn't investing in it anymore. Or giving into the situation like they used to. Okay. Someone is overcoming whatever these blockages or challenges were that was in their way. Okay. So if you were trying to figure out why things wasn't moving and like the fashion you wanted it to because someone was still clearing out or uh, getting out of a situation when i was doing check leo's reading okay someone has been freed and released from a mental prison and from a karmic cycle we got the ten of cups yep someone is coming to whoever makes them emotionally fulfilled with the Ten of Cups. Somebody feels whole. Somebody has been healing. Someone definitely has been letting go, releasing, detaching. Okay? Something is definitely ending. Two tens are here. Okay? Once there are an ending, there, are a new, there is a new beginning. Yeah, the Nine of Cups again. What's this Ten of Swords in reverse? The Two of Pentacles. Okay, so someone has chosen to do this. This is by somebody's choices. This is what they chose. Yeah, look, the emperor. Ooh, this person coming through. They all around you. Okay, you can feel this person's presence with the six of wands. You can feel their energy. Okay. What's the six of wands for Capricorn? The knight of swords. Yep. Whether this is going to be quick, fast forward movement, or this is going to be like an impulsive move. Okay. Someone hopes that if they do come towards you, that you still welcome them in with open arms is the energy I'm getting. Okay. These are for some of you who has been waiting on your person. Your person is finally making it their business to come towards you. Yeah, temperance. Look, and that's the truth. Trust your intuition, okay? You can be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Pisces, okay? A Aries. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's this Knight of Swords? The Page of Cups. I'm telling you. This person still feel the same way. Ace of Cups in the Star. I'm telling you. Y'all better get ready because y'all getting into union. 414. What's the page of cups? I know some of you guys could have been doubting it, okay? Because I know y'all watch a lot of readers and they say your person come in, hold on, just trust your person come in. And some of you guys could have been stagnant because of that, okay? Some of you guys could have been also like becoming more distant because you start paying more attention to yourself and giving more energy to yourself. And by you focusing more on you and doing what you need to do is what's making things move. Four, four, four. Yeah. I'm telling you. Nine of cups. I keep saying the nine of cups. Ten of wands. Some of you guys could have been carrying burdens. Okay? The moon card. It's like 
You needed to not know everything, Capricorns, okay? Because some of you guys, you was looking for answers or clarity and readings or from other spiritualists, okay? The Hierophant, this is definitely your person. The Hierophant, the Emperor, and the King of Cups. What is this? What's the Hierophant? The Five of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. Some of you guys, you could have been crying for your person. Okay? It's like your uh, prayers are getting answered. Okay? Yeah, the sun card, Leo's energy with the queen of cups and Virgo and hermit. Okay? Whoo! King and queen of cups. We got the sun and the moon. Ten of cups and the hierophant. Okay, you're reflecting back to this person. It's like, um, you know how when it rains and after the rain, it's a rainbow. This is what's going to happen. This is what this is. Oh, I'm hearing somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere. I don't know the song, y'all. But yeah, look, trust your intuition. Pisces energy with the four cups. Okay. Four of Cups. Some of you guys, you've been like over it. Or you've been trying to get over this person. Or somebody been trying to get over you and they can't. Okay? Somebody just can't get over you. They don't want to. Okay? Somebody wants to prove and show to you that you is who they want. And they're going to let it be known with the Six of Wands and the Sun card. Like this person. Okay, everybody is going to know that you is belong to this person. This person belongs to you. Four of Wands, I'm telling you, y'all better strap up your boots. Yeah, we got the Two of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So y'all going to really have to drown out the distractions. Because there are going to be distractions. Okay? You're going to be running into a lot of past energies that's going to want you back past energies that's going to say they miss you past energy that's going to try to still flirt with you okay but your your loyalty is being tested capricorns i'm telling you okay this is the shake up right here okay where it's really going to test and see whatever it is that you're wanting and you say you want is really what you want if you want to be in a serious committal relationship, okay, with the family, the home, the stability, etc., etc., all that good stuff there, then you have to stand the test of time. Woo! Y'all come through, spirit, come through. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to play your part and play you smart. <laughs> He said, play your part, three stacks. Play your part. Hey, these girls are smart, three stacks. These girls are smart. Hey, my bitch will choose it. Never, never fuck it out of rubber. Oh, it's... <laughs> yeah, this is a... This this the rock your boat right here. Spirit about to rock y'all boat. I'm telling you. And y'all mirroring y'all person. What is, give me more, Spirit. The star. Mm-hmm. Woo. Cause some of you guys, your um waiting on what you know that you deserve. Okay. And for some of you, you could be doubting it. Okay. So it's like be mindful of those reoccurring emotions and feelings that's coming up in there and it's like it's not your feelings two of cups for some of you you're going to be feeling other people's emotions around you these are the people that wish that they would have chose you when they had the opportunity to with that two of pentacles look spirit say that's the truth and then we got the seven of swords with this seven of swords, she's holding five, okay? So it's like, be mindful. Then with this two that's right here, it's like, they're looking back at what they 
miss would they um what is it would they overlook because right behind that is the queen of pentacles the eight of pentacles and the five of swords okay so you're going to have people that's going to try to come back and interfere and say that they want you they miss you they always been having these feelings for you okay so take it where it resonates we got sagittarius energy I'm telling you, y'all is being tested. It's to test your loyalty. To see if you can stand the test of time. To see, are you ready for a committed relationship? Okay? Because for some of you, you're already in that. And you got someone at a distance that's, that's going to try to drag you in a third-party situation. Whether it's a man or a woman. Okay? Because you got people at a distance that wants to interact with you. Okay? But the person that you are mirroring is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? That's who you're supposed to build your foundation with. Mommy, Don't get caught up and confused. It's no, it's not. Hold it's on, y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to take it out. Come on, let's go. Come on. That piece is good. It's nice and crispy brown. Okay. All right. I had to take the piece out of uh, Thomas Smith Bird. No, that joint just right. Golden brown and crispy. No, open the doors. Come on. Stay there. Hold on, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Bye. <clears throat> Come on. Let's go. 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 let us go because it's going to be around you now that you're starting to put yourself back out there. You're starting to get out of hermit mode. So you're going to definitely be glowing. And a lot of people are going to be trying to attach themselves to you. Whether you're a man or a woman. Okay? Because all the self-love and healing that you did on yourself. It's going to exude and shine so brightly that everybody is going to see. You're going to be very vibrant. Okay? Like the rainbow. Ten of cups. Because you're already in the love that you've been looking for. Like, you already have the love that you've been looking for. That you've been wanting. So, Spirit is saying, don't F it up. Please don't F it up. I'm just saying, with the world call. Okay? Please don't F it up. This is, you're in your brand new beginning. You're going to have illusions around you guys from other people. People that you haven't seen in a while. People that you haven't talked to in a while. People that is at a distance from you, okay, that you know that they had a crush on you in the past or they liked you at one point in time, 1333, okay? And that's where these reoccurring feelings are going to come about and it's to creep up on you, okay? To see if you're going to fold. That's that Ten of Pentacles. And the horrifying is right beside the, um, the moon card. So it's like God saying, remember the lessons you already learned dealing with these type of situations. Don't get caught up in the storm. Like, no, don't get caught up. Okay? Don't get caught up in the waves. This is what God is saying. You already went through this already. You learned the lessons. Okay? You learned what illusions, how do illusions start and how do they begin? If you're already in something good that's going good, whether it's a relationship, a partnership, friendship, whatever it is, please don't fuck it up, y'all. I am begging y'all because you is still going to be getting tested before the real, before this real deal, 1444. You're already in it. You know how it's the honeymoon phases or whatever the case they may be saying, Okay. 
Like, come on now. People, I'm telling you, they're going to come out the woodwork saying all types of shit. And you already walked away from these people. Okay? Eight of Cups. Because you called judgment on it. You don't want to go back into being the wounded warrior. And then it's 15, 15. And then it's going to put you in the Ten of Wands. That's why I said, don't do it. Reconsider. Okay? Because you're going to be in this non-committal energy. Okay? So, don't make no hasty moves and hasty decisions. And then you're going to be the one regretting later. Because you took it upon yourself to start engaging, interacting, and putting yourself back into a third-party situation. Where you already learned all the lessons from third-party situations. We all know that third-party situations are illusions. Okay? It's to come into your life and cause havoc. 1555. It's to cause sorrow. It's to cause pain. Okay, it's to put you in some form of agony. Alright? You already have a good thing going. So, Spirit is wanting you to pay attention. Okay? And listen more. 1616. 16. Like, listen to what your intuition is saying. Listen to what your intuition is... Um, where they're, What your intuition is guiding you. Okay? Because you want to stay in the Six of Wands energy. So whereas though if anything come up against you that's trying to pull on you and take you back somewhere or take you backwards, you already know, uh-uh. We already we already triumphed over those. <clears throat> For 16, 44, I seen. We already triumphed over those. Yeah, the justice card. I'm telling you, it's a trap. And you see how the devil card ain't come out not once. That's because I think it's hidden with this hermit energy. These are things that's going, that's hidden in the shadows, that's happening in the background. Okay? It's people trying to come out of nowhere. Okay? With the lies, cries, and goodbyes. So don't get caught up in the illusion. Okay? Let's keep going. Seven is full, Jet. It's just to come steal what you already have created. Because some of you guys, you're in the middle of, like, I think it's this birthing stage now where you're, you done held it for nine months. Now you're getting ready to push. Like, literally, that's their sun. Four of wands and the star. Like, literally. Like, the recovery is going to end out in the two of cups. Okay? Once you birth out and create this beautiful abundance which leads to financial and financial security and stability and then it's recovery phase where you heal you rest recuperate rejuvenate okay and you're not going to be doing it alone you're going to have a counterpart helping you assisting you guiding you okay so, uh, yeah, don't fuck it up, Capricorns. I'm just saying, don't fuck it up. Yeah, look, I just seen the high priestess and the six of swords. Let your intuition guide you. Listen to your intuition. Don't talk too fast. Don't talk too soon. Okay? And don't ignore those little nudges that you get as well. When these people start to come around or when they hit you up out the blue. Because it's really to betray you. Okay? They want you to doubt your intuition and second guess yourself. Okay? Because some of you guys are feeling like if you are going the right direction or if the person that you are interacting with now is who you're supposed to be with. That's supposed to be between you, God, and this masculine. As I said, don't go to nobody talking and saying girl i just got a question i just met this guy or this girl or this dude or whatever and i just want to know how you feel or how you think about this person and spirit say don't do that go to god for your answers go to god for the clarity go to god for the truth because only he knows who these people are in your life or who these people are that he 
already removed, but because you see them or you run into them or they call you or they text you is who you're supposed to be with. No, no, no. You already know and feel the person that you're supposed to be with because this person is already connected to you intuitively and through in the heart shock. Okay. You feel it in your heart who your person is 2022. Okay. So don't go asking friends, co-workers, mom, dad, homeboy, homegirl, sister, brother, cousin, uncle. Don't, don't. Okay. Don't. Because they want to put, it's like when you start to ask outsiders or external energies, it's going to bring in the interferences. It's going to bring in the blockages. It's going to bring in the delays and the stagnation. That's why God is wanting y'all to come to him for clarity. Okay? On your person. All right? I'm telling you, don't do it. Because it's to set you back. And then you're going to be repeating and learning the same lessons you already learned. Some of you, you already mastered these lessons. Like now you're just sitting in the sun and the star energy. You're just waiting for your blessings to unfold. So discipline yourself okay be cautious look now we got the empress that's what i'm saying you ascended the queen of swords when you're in the queen of swords is ascension you're connected to your higher self you're high vibrant you're vibrating too high you got the sun and the star out here you vibrating too high people can't touch you that negative energy can't touch you it might can peek in through the back door and try to sneak up on you and say hey remember me but you like, nah, yeah, I remember you, but it ain't it ain't that no more. It it just not. Like y'all know who y'all feel y'all in love with. Y'all know. I'm just saying, like, damn, Capricorns. I ain't gotta say it like that. Damn. Mm. That's probably why so many people trying to figure out who it is. And the world may never know. That's why I said, don't say too much, Capricorns. You feel me? That's between you, God, and your person. God know that you love this person. And God know this person love you. That's why y'all are together. Okay? People think, oh, that they got to see y'all all the time. No, you don't got to see it to know somebody is with somebody. That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all nosy as fuck. <laughs> y'all nosy as shit. Everybody trying to figure out what's going on. Okay? Motherfuckers like you gaining weight. Motherfuckers like, oh, you too happy? What you smiling for? What you jumping and bouncing up and down the street for? Like, people try to figure out, like, hold on. What, what's going on? Ain't not there, not a one out here. So somebody like, who getting some? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, ain't no one out here. That's what I said. God said the world may never know. It's between you, God, and your person. Just period. They ain't got to know who, but that's what I'm saying. People need to mind their business. Like real life sheep. Real life sheep. What's this Empress and the Queen of Swords that I'm going to end this out? So I can get these kids their pizza and they can go chill because I can heal. I can heal. See, I said I can heal. You're damn right. You're damn skippy. I can heal. I can hear uh, them about to start lunching out. Look, Capricorn, look. Woo, look. It's like you became best friends with your demons you became best friends with your shadow side that's why i said you're not afraid to face the darkness you're not afraid of the dark you became best friends with your light